Here's the nice bench top enclosure of the thermal imaging camera I destroyed a while ago. And here's my collection of power electronic parts. Containing water-cooled thyristor modules, individual thyristors in all sizes and shapes, two diodes in a ridiculous power pack, and some IGPTs. The attic is currently aluminum storage area only. And over here we've got a box of very sexy cooling aggregates. New old stock, single piece extrusion with ball bearing axial fans. This one would fill my entire enclosure though, so I think I'll go for half the size. Yeah, that looks very good, don't you think? This panel meter has the wrong scale. These panel meters are too large. These panel meters are too crappy. These are perfect. Well, let's add a few more smaller components and see if combining those will yield anything useful. This arrangement bears a strong resemblance of an electronic load. Only the price tag isn't so unreasonable. Of course it's a bit unfair to purely compare the power ratings of my hacked together monstrosity with a well-engineered instrument, but still electronic loads are very expensive. And this IGBT can dissipate 600 watts of power. So I guess it's safe to say that this build is a better idea than the green flashlight was. So let's finish it. I've got to mill out the original front and back plates because they were accommodating the thermal vision controls. I'll make new front and back plates with only the cutouts that I really need. I'll reuse this base plate because it gives a lot of rigidity to the enclosure. The front panel turned out beautifully, let's populate it. The electronics are exactly as shown before on the breadboard.
let's put it to the test. Looks good to me. Time to wrap it up for good. Sure could use over temperature shutdown and a microcontroller to control it all, but because I want to use the word quick in the title of this video, I'll leave it at this. Thanks for watching.